A Sullivan County man was found safe and sound after he was reported missing Sunday afternoon. The report came in after a canoe trip. Joint efforts from Illinois State Police and the Department of Natural Resources from Indiana and Illinois took place to find James Hand. Abigail Degler spoke with Crawford County authorities who were at the lead on this investigation. She joins us now with the latest. Well, first of all, he is home safe now. Mm -hmm. They found him at around 11 o'clock noon today okay. after about an 18-hour search wow. and so local authorities both Indiana and state were paired together because he was canoeing along the Wabash River right. which borders both lines. I see there yes. we go. Crawford County Illinois authorities began the search for him early this morning in Hudsonville. Uh, three or four boats um, on the water uh, along with like I said we had an aircraft in the air uh, looking for the gentleman. After 18 hours of searching police finally located a missing Indiana man. James Hand of Sullivan County went missing late Sunday afternoon while canoeing on the Wabash River. Around 5 Sunday evening, relatives became worried and notified local authorities that he may be in trouble. And the water at this point is, is uh, uh, definitely low in temperature. So, um, you know, hypothermia will set in if, if uh, he's not properly protected if he happens to get in the waters. Noon Monday, authorities were relieved when drone footage showed a canoe washed up on the river bank near Russellville, Indiana. Moments later, search crews also saw a campsite that gave them hope Hand may still be alive. Crawford County Sheriff William Raton says, unfortunately, not all searches end like this one, but he is happy this one turned out well. In this case, we were lucky. Um, he uh, had the resources to stop and make camp uh, and uh, uh, have a fire for warmth. When Han arrived, Chief Deputy Douglas Slater says he was interviewed to see what actually happened. In the end, authorities concluded the lack of communication and weather conditions escalated the events following his canoe trip. Fine, I think the if there was a lesson learned, it was don't leave home without your cell phone and don't leave home without somebody knowing where you're going. Some good lessons learned here. So now, Abigail, tell us what it cost authorities for this search effort. Well, when I spoke to the sheriff, he said, all in all, it was upwards of eight to $10,000 for the cost of all the resources they right. used. Right, that's quite a bit of money. Yes. All right, well, thank you, Abigail.